Once again, we're in for quite a story. Martin Short, Dennis Quaid, and Meg Ryan all star in this comedy adventure that has as its backdrop not outer space, not the Temple of Doom, but the coronary arteries and the intestinal tract. This fantastic voyage starts when a secret experiment for shrinking men to the size of microbes goes awry, and a handsome daredevil test pilot is injected accidentally into the body of a mild-mannered grocery clerk. I'm not a man. Oh, can you hear me? I'm a Martin Short joins us from Toronto. Meg Ryan, who plays his love interest, is in the movie, joins us here in New York. And it's nice to have both of you with us. Nice to be here. Nice Martin, to be here. good morning to you. Nice the critics have been saying very, very nice things about you. One even mentioned you in the Oscar in the same sentence. Uh, coming coming <laughs> off your, the, the heels of, of a disappointment, I think, with your first movie, The Three Amigos, this has got to feel great. What's it like for you? Oh, it's wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm up north in uh, northern Ontario kind of an on golden pond type setting. <laughs> and so I, I've really been, uh, removed myself inadvertently from uh, the reaction to this film, but it's nice to get phone calls saying that it's good. Well, thinking back on, on the experience, uh, your performance has been described as a real tour de force of physical comedy. It's been compared with Stephen uh, Martin's performance in All of Me, who, who also had a character that got inside his character. How hard is it to do that? It seems like it must be really hard. Well, it, it was peculiar. I mean, see, what was amazing about this film was that um, for so much of it, Dennis Quaid was off camera, uh, you know, while we were shooting it for the first, maybe for a total of two and a half months, Dennis came in every day and worked off camera in a little booth. He had a monitor and I put a little earpiece in my ear so I could hear Dennis, but Meg couldn't hear. So if we were doing a scene with Meg and I. Only I could hear Dennis talking to me, and Meg would just kind of stand there going... So at least you heard that little voice, though, but you didn't. How hard no. is it to play the straight oh, man or the no. straight well, woman? You know, Trust me, Joan, I, I am not uh, as gifted as to just do it. I guess <laughs> Dennis was constantly cutting and making my performance. Uh, oh, and then I'm Meg, true. you Joe Dante be... didn't help. Uh, I mean, it didn't help. Joe Dante didn't hurt either. Oh, Joe. yeah. Uh, the truth <laughs> was... Oh, Joe's going to kill me now. But, but for Meg, well, you know, it seems like it would be hard to be the straight well, man to, to uh, Martin. Or the straight woman, I guess I should say in this case. Well, I mean, well, it's not, I mean, it's just, they, they have, they have, I guess, apparently so much footage of me just, I mean, outtakes of just falling underneath tables laughing. It's hysterical. Hysterical. He is the funniest man on the planet, this one. You know, and, and you know, when I saw, when I saw the movie, when I finally saw it, I thought, God, all these scenes that I thought were just between two people, are between three and there he had this whole other thing going on and I, you know I was completely oblivious to it most of the What time. did you think when you first saw it? Because as I understand it I think they looked at about 400 actresses and you were called in what about two weeks before shooting right? I think yeah I auditioned for the, for the movie yeah two or three weeks before is that right I can't even remember anymore yeah but And did you think it was my... just a completely insane uh, script? Oh I love the script <laughs> and I thought I had no chance I mean Martin Short, Steven Spielberg, Joe Dante, Dennis Quaid, me? Right, no. We've got a scene right now of, of the two of you uh, a calm peaceful scene from inner space in it Martin's character is beginning to fall for the girlfriend of the guy who is temporarily sharing his body if you fall. How do I look? What's the matter? Nothing. Um, you just reminded me of, of a time when Tuck wore this chick. Yeah. That is the night we first met. You were doing that article about me, and we had dinner and talked till three in the morning. And... And I got drunk and threw up and fell down a manhole walking you home. So it looks like you're pretty hung up on the guy then, huh? Oh, okay, Meg, you were in Top Gun with mm -hmm. Tom Cruise. You were the wife of the flying buddy. You were in, then in another movie with Tom Cruise. Right, it was called Rain Man, is that what it is? Actually, well, we haven't started shooting that, apparently. Okay, well, you're going to be doing that. Yeah. So I just want to know, are you going to be in another movie with this guy over here, Martin? Is there going to be a sequel to this? Because, you know, a few little things are left at the end that would indicate maybe a sequel. Do you think there'll be a sequel, Meg? I, 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 I couldn't say. I don't know. I mean, it would be heaven to spend another four and a half months with this one in tennis. <laughs> she told me you were completely crazy, Martin. <laughs> think there'll she be a did. sequel? 
Um, I, I think it depends on uh, how many people see the movie. You know, I know that uh, Ishtar 2, there, were, there was talk for a while. But, uh, <laughs> that's been shot. I think, but well, I mean, Space is doing okay right now, so we'll watch for the sequel. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, Mark. Bye, Marty. Bye-bye, Joe. Bye, Meg. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Meg. Thanks. We'll be back in just a moment, Steve.